Here we are going to look at how the flip chart is laid out and what scribing has been done on two different flip charts. Notice what works well and what doesn't as well for the participants to use. So this is more of an observation of two different approaches to wall charting. One that's less effective for our horseshoe audience of a rotary club and one that's perhaps more effective. Please note in here, uh, we're missing uh, the number of chart, and we try to consecutively number each and every chart. Stands for, and then what we're hoping to have going forward is the rotary action plan component that each of these segments of charts represents. You'll also notice as we look down through that lines are incomplete, but more importantly, when you start scroll handing your uh, scribing, it, it becomes more difficult to read further away. We're striving for a little larger printing if possible in order for readership. When we move to this chart, you'll notice all these pieces are in place. The number, what is the segment that we're scribing, and what is the piece of the rotary action plan that we're referencing. As we go down through, all the lines are complete, giving ourselves the space for the dot exercise in whatever form, and it's readable and concise. A complete and easy to read flip chart makes a difference when participants get to using it for voting. Readable writing, full page lines, clear headings, and page numbers make the difference for voting.